Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject artificial intelligence is the forward chaining and the backward chaining. So in this video, I want to explain you about the forward chaining with an example. So this forward chaining is also you call it you can call it as a forward reasoning also. Okay, so whenever you are seeing the question, if forward reasoning means don't confuse, it is a, uh, another name for the forward chaining. It is a form of reasoning which which starts with the atomic state sentence in the knowledge base and applies inference rules in the forward direction to extract more data until a goal is reached. Actually, whatever the concept you are taking in the artificial intelligence, a technique that you are taking, the thing here is we need to reach a goal. Okay, if you are reaching the goal means that uh, that uh, technique is satisfied. So in the forward chaining, uh, first we are using the atomic sentence in the knowledge base. So in the knowledge base, we are using the atomic sentence and applies the inference rules in the forward direction. Whatever the rules are there that we are applied in the forward direction. Remember that. So we are applying that rules which are present in the knowledge base in the forward direction. So why we are applying in the forward direction? Uh, Applying the inference rules in the forward direction. The main aim here is extract more data until a goal is reached. That is the concept of the forward chaining. Now let's see the properties of this forward chaining. A forward chaining moves from bottom to top. The thing here is it moves from bottom to top. First takes the first rule. Second rule like that it moves from bottom to top. It is a process of making a conclusion based on known facts or data. So the forward chaining is, uh, is a process of making a conclusions. What type of conclusions? Means it has to reach the goal. So that conclusions are based on known facts or data. Okay. So by starting from the initial state and reaches the goal state. So always it starts with the initial state and finally it reaches to the goal state. It is a forward direction taking the initial steps and reaches the final steps. The forward chaining approach is also known as the data driven why we call it as a data driven because as we reach to the goal using the available data so with the help of the available data we are reaching the goal so that's why we call it as the forward chaining is also called as a data driven the forward chaining approach is commonly used in the expert systems okay remember that it will be used in the expert systems let's see some of the example uh, Example of forward chaining, how the forward chaining will be taking place. So with the help of the uh, content that is the data that is available on the available data and with the help of the set of the rules, we are going to reach the goal. Let's see here. So here some of the rules are there which are present in the knowledge base. Okay, so these rules are placed on the knowledge base. If A and C, then F. Okay, that means A and C, then F. If A and D, then G. If B, if B, then E. Means that is B implies E. So G implies D. So these are the some rules they are given. So based on the rules and the data that is available, we have to uh, reach the goal. So prove if A and B true, then D is true. So that means A, B is already it is there in the database means it is already fixed some data that is already uh, satisfied that data is present on the database so finally the d is also has to reach that database whenever the d has reached the database then our condition is satisfied means we reached the goal so here the problem is we have to prove if a and b is true then d is also true so a and b i am taking it as a true and i have to uh, Execute D in the database. So that is a concept. Now let's start the problem. How I'm going to execute? Let's see. So by using the forward chaining. So here what they are saying, I have to prove if A and B is present, then D is also satisfied. Mean it, I have to prove this. So initially, initially what it is having? Initially, A, B is present in the database. Okay. So in the knowledge base, in the knowledge base, you are having the set of rules. What are the set of rules it is having? A and C implies E. A and E implies G. And uh, B implies E. And G implies 
D. So these are the set of rules that are present in the knowledge base. Now I need to match. First thing is A and B implies D. So here A is there. B is there. A and B combination is not there in the knowledge base. A simple A combination is also not there. Only B combination is there. Okay. I am matching to here. Okay. Match. So the B combination is here. So what is the output of the B? B implies E. B implies E. That means I have to place this E on database. That is execute. Execute B in uh, E in database. Now the database contains what the items the database contains? A, B, E. Now check. So this is our, my knowledge base. Okay. So my knowledge base is this. So all it, A and C implies E. A and E implies G, B implies E and G implies D. Now check. A, B combination is there? No. B combination already I visited. A and E combination is there. Means A and E combination is there. So I have to with the help of elements in database, I am going to execute A and E. So what is our A and E implies G. So this is matching to the knowledge base. So, whatever the element that is A and E implies that G has to be execute in database. So, now the database contains A, B, E and G. Okay. So, now again match here. A and C implies E. A and E implies G. B implies E. And G implies D. So now check. Single A is not there. A and B is not there. Okay. Single E is also not there. It's not matching. Single G is there. Means a G is matching with this item in the knowledge base. So then execute this D in database. So now the database contains A, B, E, G and D. So, did we reach the goal? Yes, we reached the goal. A and B implies D. Means whenever the A and B are executed, then D is also executed. So, we proved that. If A and B is true, then D is also true. So, whenever it is executed in the database means it is true. So, this is a way of doing the forward chaining. So, in the next video, I will take one more example to clarify your doubt. Thank you.